And then... This is clearly still happening on the, the streets of Santa Barbara. But this fiesta is far less glamorous. We'll show you the furious battle to clean up trash left behind from Santa Barbara's biggest party. News Channel 3 at 5 starts right now. Live, up and down the coast, from the beaches to the valleys. At 5, this is KEYT News Channel 3, where the news comes first. Old Spanish Days was plenty of fun, but all that partying left behind a big mess. It's our top story tonight at 5 o'clock. Good evening, everybody. I'm C.J. Ward. And I'm Beth Farnsworth. Even though Old Spanish Days is over, the cleanup will take days. News Channel 3 senior reporter John Palmentary joins us live. And John, we're seeing everything from power blowers to rakes out there today. You know, I was up before 7 and down here, and there were a lot of crews from the downtown organization starting to clean up. And look around. You know, you would think that it was uh, not over with all the debris and litter that's left behind. And, you know, I got to tell you that even though there has been countless cascaronas, and even though the downtown organization has had workers come through here every single day during old Spanish days cleaning, it still looks like the party is still on. This must have happened thousands of times last week as part of the old Spanish Days celebration and remnants are far from gone. Fiesta is clearly still happening on the, the streets of Santa Barbara. You might not believe it, but the downtown organization has had its crews out every day during Fiesta to try and clean up as much as they could, even though eggs were cracking and confetti was flying until Sunday night. A downtown worker said it's not going away anytime soon. It's going to be about a year, I think. I still find it in my car in my closet a year later. <laughs> so you speak from experience. I do. Even though on State Street there's an inordinate amount of confetti still in the planter areas, the confetti that's got out to the street in the gutter and was heading towards the storm drain has been stopped by these special screens. And for the most part, they've worked very well. The dye on the colored paper, and in some cases, bits of mylar, have raised environmental concerns when this stuff makes it into the local waters. Even when they power wash it, it clumps up into clumps, and all that dye is running out, and it's all going into the ocean, and the, the tiny organism and the, the microbiological organisms have a tough time. Even professionals could not get it all out of one store. Well, I think they came in and mopped and swept and did everything they could. We're still trying to work on it. And police were very busy, as you know, over the weekend. Extra officers were out on every block, especially in the nightclub zone, the Mercados. And they were looking for those who are violating a number of ordinances, including street vending and also DUI. So for the numbers, believe it or not, with the thousands of people that were out on every city block over those five days, there were 10 felony arrests, 86 misdemeanors, and there were 11 DUIs, driving under the influence of drugs or alcohol. That's it. For all those thousands of people, that's a good report card. Reporting live from downtown Santa Barbara as Fiesta is still being cleaned up, I'm John Palmentary, News Channel 3. All right, thank you, John. A drive-by shooting left a Ventura home riddled with bullet holes.